Yeah. So funky. Niggas at the pavement. When I come through slow in a six fold hanging out the window. Niggas at the pavement. When I fall through the club, chucking up the dub on you. Uh, and so Snoop was about to leave, and then Ty G has said, Yo, he's like still around. He's trying to check out the music. So he was around. I didn't really notice it because when I get into my sets, I'm in the zone. Oh, yeah. And then so, uh, you know, then I looked around and, uh, and then they said, Yo, yo, there's Snoop. And he was like just grooved into the music and stuff. And, and then so eventually, um, you know, we, we segued and I, I had my shoulder set and I was doing some stuff. And, you know, I just like walked up to him. And we were just like laughing. It was just like a, 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 a overdue meeting, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And he shook hands and um, then he got down and freestyled on some of the tracks. And, uh, and it was just a natural flow. Yeah, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this in the podcast because I saw it. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that there, uh, you know, I, I don't think I've seen like Snoop that happy. <laughs> you know, like what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. When I mean, you yeah, know, because he, he started freestyling. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know. Oh, I remember because I actually wrote something about it for the LA Times, yeah, yeah, and I yeah. wrote like a blog post when I saw yeah. it online, and I was like, "Make this happen, universe." Mm -hmm. yeah. So basically, mm -hmm. me and the secret are responsible for the song. So you don't. <laughs> so you're agnostic, and you believe in the secret. I'm taking a hundred percent credit. I don't believe in the secret. I'm a cynical Jew. <laughs> the project uh, came together because um, uh, after that day at Heavyweight, um, we had eventually, uh, you know, kind of kept in touch, and you know, I uh, uh, attended his uh, anniversary party and um, uh, with his wife, and you know. The, the event kind of died down and then so like when somebody tapped me in the shoulder it's like yo man it's Snoop and his lady are um, you know back in the other room at the uh, key club I think it was one of those clubs mm -hmm. and um and and they're just like out back there park just chilling you know if you want to get down on the turntables go ahead so I was like you know what nobody's around let me just go ahead and do that and I had my wax still and um oh, you working off the wax at left. the time? yeah I was I was wax and computer okay so this is uh, about like maybe like like three years ago, two years ago. Okay. And uh, and then so I just went in the room and just got into turntables and played some like you know in Tume and loose ends and some some of my stuff mixing in mm -hmm. instrumentals and uh, then him and his wife just started dancing on the dance floor and like you know Goldie Loke and all those cats were there just chilling and it was just we turned it into like an after party. Yeah. yeah. And um and then Snoop was just so gracious like he, the the thing I like about Snoop and, and I, I, a lot of other artists should learn this is like. <laughs> He's very like um, uh, generous as far as like giving props. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He he he's not in, in, intimidated by saying yo uh, like this dude is cool or like you know or or that's him. Mm -hmm. You know because one of my tracks played and and like cats are like walking around. You know some st still stone face a little bit. You know that's just how the vibe is at the place you go. And uh, and I was DJing and said yo that's that's his stuff. And, and I was just like playing and, and and he didn't even have to say that. And they were like you know. Um, Man, that's that's your stuff. And, and, and Snoop was like, "Yeah, man, that's him. That's Dane Funk stuff." You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? It was like that little bit of humility takes people a long way. You know, mm -hmm. that's why he's so far up there in, in the chain of things because he's not afraid to like let go, let people, other people shine. You know? Yeah, I called and you know, it's like I, I just finished doing a Toro um, remix and I was shutting down the studio. And um, this is your play. It's on my pad, yeah. yeah and then, uh, he was like, uh, uh, he's already known he was supposed to be coming over that week. Mm -hmm. And then so I said, this dude ain't gonna come, you know what I'm saying? He probably just uh, busy, which I know he's always traveling. You see his Instagram everywhere, yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Everywhere in the world. So I'm like, yeah. Uh, so he had, uh, I had shut the studio down and he had uh, called and he was like, yo, man, I think I'm gonna come. And I said, all right, cool. Then he texted back and he's like, uh, we'll just do it another time. I said, cool, I don't feel like doing this shit anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what I'm trying to say. I was tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so then all of a sudden, you know, I was I was chilling. You know, petting my cat, and you know, all of a sudden, you know, um, uh, uh, the the text, you know, phone rings, and the Snoop. I was like, "What's up, man?" He's like, "Man, I'm I'm coming, man. I'm coming." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Hollywood right now. I gotta man. get out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm coming down to La Cienega, man. So okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, he uh, you know, came through, and I had to you know get everything ready. You know what I'm saying? No candles been in my studio. Both oh, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. studio. So I like, you know, got to put everything, spray everything down again, yeah. you know what I'm saying, get everything back in order, throw away candy wrappers. And then so, um, so I didn't know who he was going to show up with, an entourage or, you know, who knows. Yeah. And then so, um, and, and so I was like, uh, you know, he just called me from outside and, uh, and him and Joe Cool rolled up and they were just solo, you know what I mean? Just yeah. like chilling, like in the neighborhood, just parked the car. It was just real natural and normal. So we mobbed in 
you know, just sat down and, uh, you know, and did just like we did, you know, mm -hmm. just relaxed, you know what I'm saying, and chilled and, and then uh, hit the pavement was the first joint that we did. And, uh, and it was just like he stopped the music and was like, yo, man, let me tell you something, man. Um, your music is magical, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I just I want to do a whole EP. And I was like, Snoop, this will be incredible, man. If we did that, that'll be nice. And then because uh, I think it's time for people to hear you, you know, on that type of level again. And, uh, and he was like, oh, oh man, definitely, definitely. So, you know, we, from that point, we just, you know, did my thing. And, you know, I'm the type of dude, I know people were going to trip off of this. So it was like, uh, most people, if they mm -hmm. had Snoop in their bedroom, literally, I know that sounds a trip. Pause, I'm just kidding. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if they had Snoop in their bedroom studio, they would be like, yo, I'm going to stay here at like 5 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, yo, man, so we just did hit the pavement. Cool, man, I'm, you know. <laughs> talk to you, talk, you know, hook up later. You know, so I can tell. Snoop, get the fuck out of my house. No, no, what is that? It was in this. Niggas hit the pavement. DF on the beat. If you don't work, then you don't eat. Niggas hit the pavement. Real true statement. Grind to they pay me. Real niggas hit the pavement. Dropping seeds for the G's. Popping my P's. Dotting my I's while crossing my T's. Me and Dane spitting game. Doing shows overseas. 40 years old. Have no fucking enemies. Check, shut up,